kitchen are fucking weeded. And there is one dude, the chef, screaming profanities to every single cook. And everyone responding at the same time. And everyone just throwing pans. And all of a sudden, and on the other side of the bar is this beautiful white plate with all these colors and all this presentation. And you're like, you know, and when I was there and I started just with my dirty plates, you know, I was like, whoa. And then it was over. I wanted to become a chef. It was over then. Uh, and next day, <clears throat> uh, next day, uh, I talked to, to the manager and I said, I don't want to work the front of the house anymore. Can I talk to the chef? You know, I want to be in the back. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So, you know, the chef, you know, uh, Tyler Wired, kudos to him, which, uh, also, uh, my mentor, uh, uh, he gave me a job and I started working as a dishwasher and then from now on I started working at the burrito place and uh, like I said in the beginning you know I don't have a uh, shed so um, I went all in and uh, at the time I wanted to learn every single cuisine every single technique everything I was fucking hungry and being in Cherry Creek at the time I had Italian I had uh, Japanese I had Chinese I had all these restaurants, good restaurants, that I can go and, 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 and work for a couple of days and we, while you still have a, a full-time job, right? So that's where, uh, you know, that comes the, the nickname of a Cherry Creek Horde because I work on every single fucking restaurant uh, 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 that was in Cherry Creek. Some of them, they aren't even there anymore. They're new buildings and new restaurants, of so course. I, might, I, I mean, I guess so, yeah. I have to change my stance on Cherry Creek now. Like, much love to the old school Cherry Creek. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, yeah. Boop, yeah. 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 Tip of the hat. Tip of the hat. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Well, um, you know, like I said, um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do one. Do another round. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, well, this, uh, then again, you know, depends who you ask, right? You right. ask uh, uh, someone that uh, uh, perhaps uh, has nothing to do with the industry, then maybe, yeah, they're going to say this and this and this and that, which all true. That's fine. Yeah. But if you ask me, then again, I open a restaurant in Cherry Creek. You ask a business owner, you know, would you like to open a restaurant in Cherry Creek? The answer is absolutely yes. When? Right now? Because, you you know, it's, it depends who you ask. Well, yeah, it's a good spot. And if you open up a business, you know, and you're local and you're from here and you have all these tribes and you're native and all these things, I mean, you know, if you ask him, he's not going to talk shit about Cherry Creek. Yeah. Why would he? You know, it's it's uh, to me it's the perspective, and um, you know, uh, uh, and then again, there's a Mexican saying that goes that you don't uh, bite the the hand that uh, that feeds you. So, I, I, you know, uh, I work uh, a little ways. I was a uh, exec there. A lot of people talk about shit about uh, John Elway, which again, may, they might be true, but he take care of me for and me and my family for nine years. So then again, just perspective. I think. <laughs> Get the fuck yeah. out of here! No, you have no idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Bro. I w- 
I'm not familiar with that. And kudos <laughs> to him. And uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, every um, I wouldn't say it every, but um, a few um, uh, New Year's uh, Eve, uh, you will come down, and we will uh, have fun, and uh, we will smoke cigarettes uh, in the dumpster by the dumpsters. And um, but uh, it was a totally cigarette. dude. It was just a dude, you know, like yeah, all these uh, 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 you know. Uh, uh, things and, and and all these awards that he has uh, achieved and uh, uh, you know aside of that he's still human man and uh, and, to, and and he takes care of his people that's you know that's you know you always take care of me again you know like so, you can't say anything you know so pay right. my bills for nine years so all right all right I'm trying to nail down this timeline so he went construction worker dishwasher yeah. busser dishwasher kitchen in Cherry Creek and then Elways and then Elways opened where we going? in uh, October 2004 okay. so between perhaps 2001 or 2 and 2004 in October 2004 um, at the time at the fourth story Jennifer Malone and kudos to her she was the GM at the time uh, uh, she opened as a GM uh, Elways so you know and and uh, I don't think that's that uh, culture anymore, or, or maybe it is. But uh, in Cherry Creek, it was that uh, when there was a, a new, a brand new restaurant opening, every single cook will go and apply. Just it was just it was just a thing. Get ahead. Uh, and it was different. You know, you you get fired from here. You literally go next door, <laughs> and then you're working that same day. It was it was that like that. Um, uh, but then. I, but then again, you know, you're making your a box. You know, if you're you're doing good. You're may, maybe doing eleven, and then you're killing it, right? But then again, it was just uh, uh, perspective. Yeah. Um, so I got applied to uh, Elways, and I uh, and uh, well, they give you, they make you do a gnarly fucking uh, U.S. Marine kind of test to go into the kitchen, right? How that how that go over with you? I I think I passed it because I knew a few people there, but you don't uh, see you don't seem the guy that's gonna follow suit. No, right, no, no. I did right I did pass gift. I did pass I did pass, but uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it was gnarly. And then again, you know, yeah, I was uh, used to do. Oh, you're looking for a job? Yeah, you know how to cook? Yeah. How much you want? I don't know. How much you need? I give you ten. Okay. What, can you stay? Yes. Okay. Here's your apron. This is the menu. Learn. Okay. Bye. That was it. But always, um, and uh, the chef that opened it from uh, a chain, I think it's Cool, uh, cool River uh, Steakhouse in uh, Arizona. Uh, uh, kudos to him as well, Chef Wired, uh, Chef uh, Sheward, um, that he's the one who kind of pushed me to go to school, and which that's yeah, another episode. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, this guy um, uh, did a very gnarly, and uh, but but yet. Um, uh, uh, good, you know, it makes sense, you know, it was just like this little um, trick that, oh, can you put these uh, uh, bolts and nuts together? Now you look at it and then it's like, uh, yeah, and they're they're huge, right? So you and they're well oiled and stuff. So you put it in there and it goes right in. But the trick is that these all the bolt nuts, bolt nuts, they're in a uh, white powder, right? So you go, and then, oh, yeah, it looks good. Good job, man. Uh, okay, we're done. So you go wash your hands. You go, you wash your hand, and he comes in and wetting you with a black light. And he's like, yeah, put your hands up. And he scans you with the black light, and, he tells, and that shows you how well you wash your hands. It's gnarly, but it's actually good. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like that, like maybe there was like six different stations with uh, tricks like that. Uh, 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 knife techniques, and it wasn't just to fire you. You were already hired. It used to see where you at right. and where I put you on the chain. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to deliver us? When did we really start kind of building our own brand and building our own concepts? Well, um, um, I've, I've always been, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but like, which is like, I can go again against my friends, but, uh, I consider myself a wolf and not a sheep. So, um, when I, uh, um, uh, I used to own another, uh, uh, restaurants and, uh, that, uh, we opened, uh, the first, uh, tacos and tequila restaurant in the whole country. Nobody was doing, and you can Google it, you can, uh, no, mach- machete, tequila and tacos was uh, the first tacos and tequila, devoted to tacos and tequila restaurant in the whole country. Uh, in two, and uh, we opened in May, 2000, May 5th, 2011. At the time, uh, then again, we met, and uh, it was a partnership. We met, and uh, it was, uh, I was killing it out always. I was, I was fine. I, you know, I was making crazy amounts of fucking money. And I was fine. I was single. It was, uh, life was good. Um, uh, apparently, but, uh, mentally I was on a plateau. Um, you know, I wasn't growing. My brain was like, a, you know, I could come into that rest, to that restaurant and run it with my eyes closed and my hand ties and my feet and locked up in the fucking walking, you know? Um, so it was no uh, passion. There was no, um, no challenges anymore. And then when uh, this opportunity presented itself, uh, I was like, yeah, but uh, uh, if I do it, we're going to do it my way. You know, uh, uh, I've always had these ideas. Uh, you know, for me to open up a restaurant, it's been my dreams for forever. You know, uh, 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 yeah, I just, uh, my mom texted me uh, a little note that I wrote in. 2004, no, 2001, I think, that I, that's, I, around the time that I started working at Four Story, when I was like, yeah, I want to be a chef, that's when I, um, I think I emailed my mom from a uh, public library. Uh, I, there was no cell phone, uh, and, uh, I didn't have any cell phone. So you go to the public library in Cherry Creek, and I will Hot email, mail, yeah, yeah Hotmail, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I will email my mom and say that, um, you know, someday, you know, I went up in my own restaurant, blah, blah, blah. So it was all there. I just needed, and um, like, like I said now, you know, to open up a restaurant in Mexico City, you literally open your garage, you put a fucking table, you put up good food, and, and, and fuck it. You, you're selling. Out there for people you're to selling. In the States, you see? It's just a little bit different and a little bit more costly. So uh, uh, once I had kind of like everything uh, put together, I just fucking went off, and I, I created Machete, and... Um, um, yeah, that was. Uh, but then again, uh, eight years there, uh, 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 you know, perhaps uh, uh, not having that uh, 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 financial and that um, uh, uh, yeah, financial the uh, um, preparation or education. Uh, 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 amongst a lot of all the stuff and fighting with you know your own demons and all that, and then you're at the top. And, you know, you are you made it, basically, you know. But uh, you don't have a good structure to, to support all this shit, all this success and stuff. So, you know, uh, uh, then you start fucking partying like a rock star. And then, uh, uh, and then, you know, shit hits the fan <laughs> when you do that. Uh, and, uh, and then you hit rock bottom. And, uh, and uh, yeah, and then you start... Overnight, you're like, you know, everything's gone, and then living on a storage unit, um, uh, and everything's literally gone. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, you have a one-year-old uh, daughter, so yeah. So did yeah. this? So hold on, did all this happen before you started opening La Diabla? Yeah. Yeah, but probably I, uh, only this happened between, uh, 2018 was, uh, 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 I, I see it as a great fucking year, honestly. Uh, you know, one. The pandemic. You actually, hit. well, yeah, but then again, even before that, if, uh, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just telling my story. I'm just telling what, uh,